No one ever taught them how to use a device like this before. But for the children in Kakaji, there are few things more interesting than a wall computer. Kakaji is a poor area, and many of the local children first saw a computer here. They've managed to teach themselves how to use it. Akas comes here whenever he has the chance. The 15-year-old left school early to get a job and support the family income. His education ended after third grade. I spotted the computer because my mother works as a cleaning lady nearby. It's really interesting. I've already learned a lot and now I know how to use a keyboard. Hole in the Wall is the name of this new project which aims to give Indian children access to computers. Coordinators of the initiative stop by regularly to ask the children questions, including eight-year-old Raul. But one thing has grabbed Raul's interest above all else. Actually, I asked him, like, uh, why he comes here and what is it that he likes to do. <coughs> so basically, he said he likes to play games, again, the educational content, and uh, it helps him in retaining and improving his knowledge. So I asked him, like, who said that, you know, you have improved, actually, in terms of retaining, retention and uh, increasing your knowledge. Oh, yeah. He said his mother told him that he's actually improved. Uh -huh. An official sign is posted above the computers with a magic spell printed at the top. The line says Kulja Sim Sim, which is basically from the story Alibaba and 40 Thieves, which when Alibaba chanted, it opened the door to treasure. And here we have actually used this line to open the door to the knowledge for children who are out of school and who want to go back to the school. So the idea is to take them to the other side of the wall, that is to mainstream them ultimately. The project was launched by an Indian company that develops educational software. NIIT's chairman is highly regarded in India because his firm has funded hundreds of other freely accessible computers across the country. Well, that project started uh, as a little contribution to a community of slum children outside one of our office facilities in 1999 on a Republic Day, on 26th of January. And the idea was to give children access to computers. So we put this computer in the wall. We made, literally made a hole in the wall between the software facility, the research center, and the slum, and stuck a computer in the wall and connected it to the lab and observed what was going on. And we were shocked to see that children were doing amazing things within a couple of days. With a hidden video camera, the company recorded the launch of the project, while a clock kept time down below. This boy had never used a computer before, but after just two minutes, he's learned how to control the cursor. One double click and four minutes later, he's opened a file. And after six minutes, he's online. India is a very vast range of races, as you know, from the north, south, east, to west. So we were first quite surprised to see a very similar behavior among different races within India. Then we took it to Cambodia, exactly the same behavior. Took it to parts of Africa, exactly the same behavior. But none of that matters to eight-year-old Raul. Now he's showing what he can do as his mother looks over his shoulder to make sure he's not just playing games, but also learning something. Fairy tale characters on the screen ask him questions and prompt the boy to click on specified icons. It's clear that Raul's mother is proud of her son. Raul will go a long way. He's learning something here that he'll really be able to use later on, knowing how to use a computer. 
Raoul is one of around 300,000 children who have already used one of the computers funded by the project. Who knows, he could grow up to be a software expert himself one day.